hello students welcome back to our class so in today's class we are going to see the real life applications of conics so till now we have seen three types of conics right parabola ellipse and hyperbola so we are going to see the real life applications so commonly what are the real life applications of parabola parabola so uh, commonly you might have seen like this when a person is standing here and if he throws a, a pen or a ball if he throws a ball in the upward direction what happens this ball goes here and again it comes to the uh, ground right so this is the parabolic uh, parabolic uh, shape this is the parabolic shape so in your book they are given right uh, the interesting applications of parabola in work they are they are used as reflectors and receivers of right uh, light or radio waves for instance cross sections of car headlights flashlights are parabola that is for headlights for car and uh, lorry uh, vehicles etc they are using the parabolic uh, motion and the bulb in the headlights flashlights is located at the focus so the bulb is located at the focus so this is the headlight like this so bulb will be located at the focus and the rays will be like this so the, uh, this will be the uh, it, the rays will be going like this and then it gets reflected so this is the headlight of the vehicle here so the headlight of the, the bulb will be located at the focus and the rays gets like this and it gets reflected like this okay so and again for ellipse ellipse the common application so you know that all the planets are rotate uh, evaluating around around the sun in the elliptical orbit right so if this is the sun so in elliptical motion all the planets are moving around the sun and if this is the earth if this is the earth we know the satellite of earth is moon right so moon is also uh, moving around the earth in elliptical orbit that is all the satellites are moving around in the elliptical orbit so there the uh, ellipse is used and what about hyperbola so hyperbola it is having its major contrib uh, contribution in it is having its major contribution in architecture so if you see the bombay uh, in your book they have given the bombay airport so the bombay airport the uh, this is the top thing and the uh, and the uh, walls will be like this so walls will be like this in your book they have given the uh, what's that they have given the picture right in 5.53 so in the walls will be like this in bombay airport so it is having its main uh, contribution in architecture okay so real life applications which we are going to solve the examples in this video so that is word problems so word problems the real life applications which uh, parabola conics avanga edho or shape kudupanga we have to solve that okay see example 5.30 A semi-elliptical archway over a one-way road has a height of three meter and a width of twelve meter. So now let us draw the diagram. Semi-elliptical archway. So archway na in the mari ko right. So it is a semi-elliptical. So this will be the whole ellipse. So this is the semi-elliptical archway. Archway means uh, you know bridge la bridge. There will be a bridge here. right there will be a bridge here so this is the semi elliptical archway in the side wall here vehicles will be moving this in this road okay so this is the semi elliptical archway they have given that if this is the center what they have given is has a height of 3 meter so this its height is 3 meter has a height of 3 meter and width of 12 meter so from this is 6 and this is 6 okay so what will be the vertex so vertex here will be 6 comma 0 and the vertex here will be minus 6 comma 0 because idu vandu axis la vandrum so here when it comes here it becomes minus 6 comma 0 okay a truck has a width of 3 meter and a height of 2.7 meter will uh, a truck angodu or truck vandu pass agudhu so the, let this be the truck okay truck means it will be in the form of lorry right lorry truck theriyum la that's the lorry so the, they are given that the lorry truck has a width of 3 meter so this this is 3 meter so this is 1.5 meter and this is 1.5 meter because this is the center right this is the center so in the side 1.5 meter and this is 1.5 meter and its height is 2.7 so this is the maximum height 3 and this is 2.7 meter 
okay so the, uh, in the in the height 2.7 meter will the truck clear the opening of the archway so we have to find whether the truck can pass through this archway we have we have to find whether this truck is that uh, truck can pass through this archway that is we have to find this height is the height we know so inge vandu 2.7 meter na truck ku inge 2.7 meter da irukum so in the in the ellipse la irukku liya and ellipse la in the point nam kandupidikalam so in the point vandu 2.7 ku keela irundha we can say that the truck can clear see idu vandu 2.7 ku sorry 2.7 ku mele irundha we can say that the truck can clear suppose idu vandu 2 meter da irukku adhavadhu இந்த எலிப்ஸில் இந்த பாயிண்ட் வந்து டூ மீட்டர் தான் இருக்குது ஆனால் இங்கே வந்து ஒரு ட்ரக் இருக்குது இந்த ட்ரக்குக்கு டூ பாயிண்ட் செவன் ஹைட் இருந்து கேன் கேன் இட் பாஸ் த்ரூ திஸ் ஆர்ச்வே நோ ரைட் இட் ஜஸ்ட் இட் வில் ஹிட் இன் தி ஆர்ச்வே ஏன்னா இந்த டூ மீட்டரோட இந்த இடத்துல இதோட ஹைட் வந்து கம்மியாக இருக்கணும் கம்மியாக இருந்தால் தான் இட் கேன் பாஸ் ஸோ த திங் இஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் தி ஹைட் ஹியர் வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் தி பாயிண்ட் ஹியர் ஓகே ஸோ வி நோ தட் அந்த ஆர்ச்வேக்கு இட் இஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் Okay, it is 2 point. And the arch vehicle, we have to find this point. But see here, this is 2.7 meter height. Okay, now we have to find this value. So, this is 1.5 and this is, so x comma y in bottom of the here x value is 1.5 comma, let us take it as y1. Y1. So, what is the equation of this ellipse? what is the equation of this ellipse from this uh, diagram we know that the equation of ellipse is x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square will be equal to 1 so what's the value of a square so from midpoint to vertex when this 6 na that is a is equal to 6 and from midpoint to this is 3 na b is equal to 3 so a square is equal to 36 and b square will be equal to 9 okay b square will be equal to 9 now we can put it here so x square divided by 36 plus y square divided by 9 equal to 1 now we want to find this value y what so this this point is lying on the ellipse now we can substitute this here see 1.5 can be written as for uh, easy substitution we can take it as 3 divided by 2 You can take it as 1.5. 1.5 you can take it as 1.5. But if it is 3 divided by 2. What is 3 divided by 2? It is 1.5. So 3 divided by 2 is easy to solve. So here it is substitute that 3 divided by 2. Y1 in this equation. So 1.5 into 3 divided by 2. So you have to substitute that 3 divided by 2. So you have to substitute that 3 divided by 2. So the whole square is 9 divided by 4 into 36 plus y1 square divided by 9 is equal to 1. Okay, so bring this this side, y1 square divided by 9 is equal to 1 minus 9 divided by, so this can be written 9, 1, this is 4, so 1 divided by 16, 1 divided by 16, so bring this 9 that side, therefore y1 square is equal to 9 into, so 16 minus 1 is 15 divided by 16. which is equal to 3 divided by 4. Y1 will be equal to 3 divided by 4 into root 15. Okay, Y1 is equal to 3 divided by 4 into root 15. You can find the value of root 15. Otherwise, you can uh, take this like this. See, 9 into 15 divided by 16. What is 9 into 15? In your book, they have taken like this. 135 so divided by 16 on taking square root what happens it will be root of 160 135 divided by 4 you have to find the root, square root of 30 uh, 135 so instead of that i took like this 3 divided by 4 you have to find the value of root 15 root 15 4 4 is 16 so we can take 3 3 3 is 9 so remaining is uh, 6 okay so 2 2 is 4 right 2 so again what you have to do is you have to uh, into 2 this one into 2 is 6 so 6 something will be equal to so therefore we are taking here dot so 6 something will be equal to 61 into so 
so it's going on okay so you have to find the square root of 15 so it uh, it will be approximately 3 point something okay it will be approximately 3 point something so so you have to 3 point something into 3 you have to multiply that and you will be getting 11.62 divided by 4 okay just cancel that 4 2 is 8 4 2 is 8 2 point so remaining is 3 okay 9 4 is 36 so balance 25 okay 4.95 so 2 point Two point nine five is the answer. Two point nine five is the answer. So, see in your book they have given that eleven point sixty two divided by four is two point nine zero, right? Is that so? No, right? So it is two. So eight balance three. So point is here. So nine four is thirty six. So nine and again two. So we are having a point. So we can take zero here. So 5, 4 is 2. So 2.95 is the answer. So value of, so the height of this is 2.95. The height of this is 2.95 and the height of truck is 2.7. Therefore, 2.95 minus 2.7 is 0.25 meters. Okay, so it is 2.95 meters. So in the remaining one is 0.25 height on the irk. So uh, if this is 2.7, this height of the truck is 2.7, but the height of the uh, ellipse that, that is the height of the archway at the 1.5 meter away from center is 2.95. Therefore, clearly, since 2.7 is 2.95 greater than our learner, we can say that clearly the truck can clear the archway. Okay, now let us see this again some, sorry the next example, example 5.31. Now let us see next example, example 5.31. So what is the question? The maximum and minimum distances of the earth from the sun respectively are 152 into 10 power 6 kilometer and 94.5 into 10 power 6 kilometer. The sun is at one of the focus of the elliptical orbit. Find the distance from the sun to the other focus. So what they have given is? They are giving a elliptical orbit. Okay. So elliptical orbit. The maximum minimum distance from the sun to the earth. So this is one focus and this is one focus. Let this be the earth. Okay. So let us see. Uh, take that the sun is. The, in your book they have given this. The sun is placed at one of the focus. So uh, let this be the sun. Okay. Now we have to find the uh, distance from the sun to the other focus. That is this distance we have to find that is 2c right or like 2ae anything 2ae or 2c we have to find the value of 2c okay so the maximum distance is the maximum distance from the earth to uh, sun is they have given it as 152 into 10 power 6 kilometer and the minimum distance is 94.5 into 10 power 6 kilometer. Okay, 10 power 6 kilometer. So let this be S yes, sun and let this be S yes, dash, let this be A. Okay, what is A into S? Yes? A into uh, S yes is 152 into 10 power 6 kilometer, right? If this is A and this is S means the highest distance is this. So it is 152 into 10 power 6 kilometer. And what is A into S dash? It is equal to 94.5 into 10 power 6 kilometer. So what is the highest distance? That is this one is uh, higher distance is A. Okay, highest distance is A plus C. A plus C. Alright, A plus C, which is equal to 152 into 10 power 6. So, they, you might have seen the, the sum in the previous uh, chart, previous subdivisions. So, in the Mario focusing here, so in the Mario you have to take the triangle. After taking the triangle, this angle is uh, 
a so a plus some value right and the morning you might have learned this right so at the same way c a minus c will be equal to in your in, in your book they have taken directly okay 10 power 6 okay so now uh, you just uh, subtract this subtract this so a plus c in the left hand side what you will be getting a plus c minus a plus c so if you add this you will be getting 2a if you subtract this you will be getting 2c 2c only you want to find that is difference between the two focuses so distance between two focuses that is 2c which is equal to 152 into 10 power 6 minus 94.5 into 10 power 6 therefore 2c is equal to 152.0 that is 94.5 10 and this is 1 so 5 uh, this becomes 40 and this becomes 1 so 7 this becomes 5 so 57.5 into 10 power 6 so to, for taking that uh, in the in the point we are taking 110 outside that is 57.5 into 10 into 10 power 5 which is equal to 575 into 10 power 5 kilometer so this is the distance from the sun to the another focus okay now next example example 5.32 a concrete which is designed as a parabolic arch okay designed uh, uh, as a parabolic arch so this is a bridge this is the parabolic arch okay parabolic arch the road over bridge is 40 meter long and the maximum height of the arch is 15 meter okay this height is the maximum height of the uh, arch is 15 meter and the road over the bridge is from this point to this point is 40 meter so 40 meter means this will be 20 meter and this will be 20 meter okay write the equation of the parabolic arch we have to find the equation of the parabolic arch so what's the point here and here this will be 20 comma minus 15 because this is the axis and uh, here what will happens both the x and my, uh, y are negative so minus 20 comma minus 15 this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth and this first second third and fourth fourth la x is positive and y is negative and third both the x and y are negative therefore we have taken this point as minus 20 comma minus 15 and this point is 20 comma minus 15 so from the diagram it is clear that what will be the equation of the parabola x square is equal to minus 4ay ok so what is the value of a we have to find the value of a we know it is 15 but we don't know the value of a here right so see here this point minus 20 comma minus 15 and 20 comma minus 15 lies in the parabola therefore we can take an, uh, any one of the point and we can substitute here and we will be getting the value of a so now let us take the point 20 comma minus 15 and, and we can substitute here what happens 20 the whole square is 400 is equal to minus 4a into so minus 15 the whole square it becomes plus 225 to 25 so 1 this becomes 100 so a will be equal to minus a is equal to 100 divided by 225 100 divided by 225 sorry this is not y square this is y right so 15 15 so 20 and this is 3 so a is equal to minus 20 divided by 3 a is equal to minus 20 divided by 3 minus 15 so plus 20 divided by 3 we took the uh, point 20 comma minus 15 you substitute here x square is 400 is equal to minus 4 into a into minus 15 so this minus and this minus gets plus 
So a 15 a is equal to 100 because cancel in this 4 and uh, 400 it becomes 100. So x is equal to 100 divided by 15 that is 20 divided by 3. So what is the equation of the parabola? x square is equal to minus 4 into 20 divided by 3 into y. That is x square is equal to minus 80 divided by 3 into y. This is the equation of the required parabola. Okay, the next sum is example 5.33. Okay, the parabolic communication antenna has a focus at 2 meter distance from the vertex of the antenna. Find the width of the antenna 3 meter from the vertex. So, example 5.33. The parabolic communication antenna has a focus at 2 meter distance from the vertex of the antenna. That is, let this be antenna. Okay, parabolic communication antenna has a focus at 2 meter from vertex. So, this is 2. So, this is the focus. What is the focus point? 2 comma 0. This is 0 comma 0. The focus point is 2 comma 0 from the vertex of the Find the width of the antenna 3 meter from the vertex. So, if this is 2 meter and another 1 meter, we have to find this width. This is 3 comma 0. So, this will be 3 comma y1 and this will be 3 comma minus y1. You have to find the width of the antenna that is this y1 plus y1. So, that is this, this value in the value learning in the value. Continue. So, for that you can uh, take the equation of the parabola. What is the equation of the voice square is equal to 4ax. What is the focus? A is 2. Instead of A you can substitute 2. And you have to find 2 into y1. Right. So the, if this is y1 and this is also y1 you have to find the whole width. Therefore y1 plus y1 is 2 into y1. You have to find the value of 2 into y1. So what you can do is you can take this point 3 comma y1. Since this point is uh, uh, lying in the parabola, you can take and you can substitute here. This becomes y square is equal to 8x. Equation of parabola. You can substitute here and you can, you'll be getting the value of y1. Substitute it here, you'll be getting the width of the antenna. So, this is the assignment for you. 5.33 is going to be the assignment for you. Okay. Now we are going to see reflexive property of a parabola. That is reflexive property of a parabola. So if this is the parabola. Okay, see in your book uh, given the light or sound or radio waves originating at a parabola's focus are reflected parallel to the parabolic axis and conversely. Same wise, if this is a thing... Uh, if a light, this is the focus of the parabola. If a, for, from this focus, if a light is moved means it will be going like this and it will be reflected along the parallel to the axis. So, the, what is the parallel to the, what is the major axis here? The major axis is x axis. This is the axis, right? So, what happens if a light or sound is moving from here, it just goes on to the uh, inside the parabola and it gets reflected and the reflected waves will be parallel to the axis. Okay, this is what they have given. Okay, so uh, conversely what we can say, if the uh, reflected rays are parallel to the axis, the light is coming from the focus. We can say like that. So, that, that is what we are going to use here. Now, let us see the example. Example number 5.34. Oh, 5.34. The equation y is equal to 1 divided by 32 into x square models cross sections of parabolic mirrors that are used for solar energy. There is a heating tube located at the focus of each parabola. How high is the tube located above the vertex of the parabola? See, so they will not be, they, they won't give you the uh, diagram. Okay. So, in the question, you have to be clear while reading the uh, word problems. The equation of the parabola is given as y is equal to 1 divided by 32 into x. In the mark, you have So, ma'am, you have y. So, in the mark, you have to write the equation. No, right? See here, x, uh, the square is situated for the variable x. So, this can be written as x square is equal to 32 into y. So, this is the equation of the parabola. So, what will be the diagram? So, the parabola will be open up right 
So the parabola will be like this. Okay, you have to be very clear with that. Cross um, uh, that are used for solar. There is a heating tube located at the focus. So the, this is the focus, and they are placing a heated tube at focus on each para parabola. How high is the tube should uh, located at the vertex of the above? So uh, what they have asked is in the vertex level, you know, the distance in in our year column. How high is the tube should be located? See, they are given that the tube is located at the focus. and how high the tube should be located from the focus that is this distance this distance is called a right we want to find the value of a we can find through here see x square is equal to 4 into 8 y so from this we got a is equal to 8 so we can say that the heating tube should be situated 8 meter high from the vertex so this is vertex 8 meet 8 sorry they are, they don't give uh, they didn't give you meter or centimeter if they didn't uh, in, uh, give you meter or centimeter any units you can uh, use units as common 8 units therefore the heating tube should be located at at 8 units high the vertex okay this is how you have to give the answer now let us see the next example For example 5.35 Okay, example 5.35. A searchlight has a parabolic reflector. A searchlight has a parabolic reflector has a cross section that forms a bowl. The parabolic bowl is 40 cm wide from the rim to the rim and 30 cm deep. The bulb is located at the focus. So there is a searchlight Okay, there is a searchlight. It may be either like this or either like this. Okay, now we are taking like this. Okay, uh, the parabolic bowl is forty centimeter uh, wide. So that is, this is wide. Okay, so this is wide. So this is forty meter. This is forty meter and thirty uh, centimeter deep. So this is thirty centimeter and this is forty centimeter. Forty centimeter means this will be twenty. This will be twenty. So what's this point? This point is thirty comma twenty, right? This point is thirty comma. So from x, it got a value under thirty. It got a value under twenty. So thirty comma twenty is this point. And what about this point? This point will be thirty comma minus twenty. Okay, the bulb is located at the focus. So bulb is located at the focus. So what is the general equation of the parabola? Y square is equal to four a x. For this uh, diagram, y square will be equal to four a x. Will be the equation of the parabola. What's the first question? What is the equation of the parabola used for reflector? Okay, now we have to find the value of a. We do we can't find the value of a, right? So instead for finding the value of a, see this point thirty comma twenty is lying in the parabola. Therefore, we can substitute thirty comma twenty here. Okay, what is twenty uh, square is four hundred is equal to four a into what is x? X is thirty. So one and this is hundred. So a is equal to hundred divided by thirty, which is equal to ten divided by three. A is equal to ten divided. What is what will be the equation of parabola? Y square is equal to forty divided by three into x. This is the equation of parabola. The first solution. Now the second solution. How far from the vertex is the bulb to be placed so that the maximum distance covered? See, they have given that the the bulb is placed at focus. Okay, so from vertex layer, there, how far the bulb should be placed? That is, they are asking this this value, right? They are asking that value. What's that value? That value is called a. Therefore, we found that a is equal to ten divided by three. So, in in your question, they have given everything in centimeter. Therefore, ten divided by three centimeter. Therefore, the bulb should be placed ten divided by three centimeter from the vertex. Is the second subdivision's answer. Okay, now let us see the third, uh, last, uh, I mean, example, five point three six. What's the question given there? What's the question given there? 
an equation of the elliptical part of a optical lens system is that is elliptical part of a optical lens is that is the equation of the ellipse is given x square divided by 16 plus y square divided by 9 is equal to 1 the parabolic part of the system has a focus in common with the right focus of the ellipse the vertex of the parabola is at the origin and the parabola opens at the right determine the equation of the parabola so they have given a ellipse equation so this ellipse equation means it is having the major axis as x axis so it will be like this okay and they have given that the parabolic part of the system has a fo focus in common so if this is the focus for this ellipse so there is a parabola and it is having a focus in common it may be like this or it may be like this but they have given this given that this the parabola focus in common with the right focus they, they have given right focus is common for both the ellipse and parabola the vertex of the parabola is at origin so this is the vertex of the parabola and the, the origin of the ellipse is here so they are both are same uh, the vertex of is at origin and the parabola opens at right determine the equation of parabola now we are going to find the equation of parabola okay so la, let us see in ellipse this is a this is ae and uh, this is ae ae point ae or c we can say it as c right so if ellipse ku c a irukiradu parabola ku a va irukudu be clear that c is equal to a for a for parabola and c for ellipse ellipse ku c a irukiradu dhaan ellipse oda focus dhaan parabola ku focus so ellipse oda so focus enna it is c comma 0 right so and the c comma 0 hu a comma 0 for parabola focus oda point parabola la a comma 0 c comma 0 hu a comma 0 hu common that is c is equal to a okay we have to find the equation of parabola parabola's equation will be number right open lens now y square is equal to 4 a x that is we have to find the value of a that is we have to find the value of c see from we are they have given the equation of ellipse so from this we got a square is equal to 16 and b square is equal to 9 how will you find the uh, value of c square c square is equal to a square minus b square that is 16 minus 9 which is equal to 5 sorry it is 7 right it is 7 so c will be equal to root 7 plus or minus c will be equal to plus or minus root 7 so plus root 7 means this value is root 7 comma 0 and this value is minus root comma 0 root 7 comma 0 so what happens this if this point is root 7 comma 0 that is the focus for the parabola so the a's value will be root 7 for parabola therefore y square is equal to 4 root 7 into x is the required equation of the parabola okay so with this we are gonna going to complete this video now let us see the uh, reflexive property of ellipse and hyperbola in the next class okay let's meet in the next class thank you students